we are going on our long awaited vacation you guys i'm at the airport i just got here funny part is i have mixed feelings i don't know how I feel. I'm excited for this trip, but I'm also scared in a way. You know, one of the reasons why I don't like coming to Lagos is the drama that always happens in Lagos. hi guys and welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Chetan. i create content in abuja nigeria you are welcome to my returning guys welcome back guys please don't forget to subscribe like share you guys you know the drill now okay and yeah let us jump into what today's video is about so as you guys have seen from the title we are going on our long awaited vacation usually every year i try to take a vacation and travel to maybe a country out of nigeria just for a breath of fresh air and yeah we are about to do that again this year this is actually okay no, the last trip i took was in december last year so guys i'm so excited and i'm going to three countries you guys three whole countries i'm so so excited you know what you guys do for me in the comment section right now without giving all those gist let me know um guess the three countries just throw a quick guess hint is in west africa do not cheat guys right now make that guess in the comment section but yeah guys i am so excited my room is in complete shambles as in since morning i have been organizing all my clothes because the problem with me is when i want to plan to travel it now makes me want to declutter and give away a lot of clothes so since morning i've just been scanning through all my clothes and i've gotten a few that a, a few pile that i want to give away but yeah guys i started this prep yesterday actually so yesterday i got my nails done i'll, I'll insert some clips now yes so after getting my nails done this morning i did my hair just a basic two hand hairstyle then um what did i do okay yeah i had my wax appointment earlier today and now i want to pack up for the trip you guys i am so so excited so yeah let's get to it do not forget again to subscribe like share you know all that good stuff now and uh, yeah let's get packing because we have a long way to go and by the way before i jump into that today is a friday my flight is on monday but i am connecting to lagos yeah i don't know if i'll mention where i'm going to in this trip but just keep a quick guess uh, i'm going to lagos and i'm connecting from lagos to my destination so you guys yeah let's pack up i am so so excited and um, this is just the first bit of packing what i've done is just bringing out the clothes and just throwing it into the box i'll still do the whole list i do i make lists and it helps me out but yeah guys i'm talking too much let's just get to packing okay so guys as i mentioned i had already done a few sorting of my clothes i brought out the clothes that i will wear depending on the days and the outfit i had already planned in my head so i was just folding them and getting them ready to start getting into the box and yeah while i do this you guys already know we do shout outs on here and the reason why i do this is to help new youtubers give them a push just help them in the little way i can support my community of new youtubers and yeah um the shout out for today goes to life with dj so she creates lifestyle and sewing content and i checked out her page absolutely beautiful so if you're interested in those kind of things you definitely want to check her out and if you want your own shout out let me know in the comment section the name of your channel and what you do and you just might be the next to get a shout out okay hi guys so yeah it's sunday evening i'm on my way to the airport it's like 6 p.m now i'm heading to the airport and yeah guys i'm excited for this trip i'm so happy and yeah let's drive down to the airport 
before it gets too late okay the last trip i made i saw shaggy because i packed heavy so i tried to pack as light as i could i mean that's my definition of packing light but yeah um we drove down to the airport and i was just excited you guys i was having mixed feelings but yeah i was excited for the adventure coming up very soon okay <laughs> you guys i'm at the airport i just got here <laughs> funny part is i have mixed feelings i don't know how i feel i'm excited for this trip but i'm also scared in a way but yeah let me go check in my flight is by eight so i still have a bit of time and i'll talk to you guys later guys if there was one thing i was so scared of it was for my bag to be more than 23 kg which is the allocated kilo but thankfully i think my bag was 18 kg and i'm so excited guys i'm going to board i still have a, a lot of time to kill but yeah i'm updating you guys <laughs> i hope you're enjoying this vlog i'm so excited yeah i'll talk to you guys later so like i've mentioned a million times my flight was by eight and yeah i got to the airport maybe before 6 30 so i had a lot of time to kill so i just got to my boarding gate i just sat down and just chillaxed um just engaged myself by just watching social media and just laughing having a good laugh and um after a few hours it was time to begin boarding you guys i was so excited this is the first time that eric is not pushing back our flight till later time but yeah uh, we started boarding but guys please why are these flights so hot like anytime i fly locally it's like literally i'm about to pass out because it's so hot like it is so 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 hot you guys at this point there see i was just frustrated because i couldn't even get window seat i was just sitting where i didn't want to sit but yeah they gave us um their snack pack it had i think this is cinnamon roll way i don't even understand the taste then i think they also gave us happy hour the juice box for kids and then they gave us i think sweets in the pack as well and biscuits i believe yeah so that was it guys and a few minutes later we were at lagos you guys and yeah wahala started but i'll gist you guys later but man this lagos is how do you guys live here like what exactly do you put in lagos please if you live in lagos and you know that you cannot live anywhere else let me know why because i'm sorry even if you dash me money i don't think i want to come to lagos because the chaos ah i'll just you guys shah but yeah just hold on a bit <laughs> you guys let me give you a tour of this hotel by the way i paid twenty two thousand. what say did i pay this is the bathroom space like you guys this bathroom looks very very <laughs> and smells very weird this is the room and the bed very small looks like the bed is pressed in <laughs> you guys see eh, i'm frustrated right now you know one of the reasons why i don't like coming to lagos is the drama that always happens in lagos so every time i have been in lagos i hate the fact that the whole transport system is something i don't understand so from the airport you see like today from the airport i saw because I, I had to look for a hotel that's closest to the airport and i found this one that's, that's in Ikeja. it's a obviously physically low budget hotel because you guys have seen a tour of the space and i paid for it because i told them i'll be landing really late because my flight was by eight so i knew i was going to land really really late because i know the whole chaos in lagos right so i prepared for it right only for me to get here i got here this is by the way for context this is almost 11 p.m because first of all the drama in the airport i got to the airport i'm seeing on both prices of both ranging from 2700 to 3300 but both riders are saying um well we have to run it offline and they're saying 10,000 naira you bargain 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 the best i could see was for 5,000 naira eventually i got here getting here they said oh they'll have two options for the rooms to show me all two options rubbish but let's not get to that now i come into you, you finish showing me i mean it's an upstairs building it's late at night i'm exhausted of course because i've been up and down since morning and you say you want to show me rooms you then take me upstairs to show me rooms right then you now say i should go back downstairs with everything i'm carrying to fill my form and drop my means of identification before i can now come back upstairs into the room and i'm like hell no impossible not happening you guys should go and bring whatever form you need me to fill upstairs 
and it became a thing though Amma, you need to calm down that's how i process i'm like i'm sorry but your process cannot work with me this night this is 11 freaking p.m if you needed me to feel anything because i was not asking her okay so if i thought you came i, I looked through the room would you give me a refund for the room no so what do you mean by like i don't know a lot of businesses are just so nonchalant and it's because even with their nonchalance they still get clients and that's why they behave the way they behave honestly one of the major things killing businesses is a nonchalant behavior nonchalant behavior but guys see i don't even want to get into that i don't want to get into that i'm here now i want to see how much rest i can get because my flight tomorrow is by 10 a.m so i want to see how much rest i can get so that first thing tomorrow morning i'm out of here at the end of the day this is just a passing night even though of course it's it's very very annoying that i have to pay 20 something thousand naira almost 20 23 thousand naira i'll put it on the screen for a night and the room is just smells weird the bed just look everything looks off but that's okay that's fine i won't talk about that too much but yeah guys let me just get to bed and i'll see you guys tomorrow hopefully i'll be in a better mood i'll be more excited okay all right good night guys So guys it's the next morning and yeah you guys should not judge me for some reason i forgot my night wear in apuja so practically throughout this trip i am going to be struggling but yeah um i got up i just i just brushed my teeth i took a quick shower and just got ready because i had to be at the airport maybe three hours before my flight so my flight was by 10 so i had to be at the airport by maybe say 7 30 ish so yeah um like I said, I just quickly freshened up and guys, you guys should not judge me. I'm using my barefoot in this bathroom because I do not have any slippers out. I mean, you know, like when you're passing a night in a hotel, you just try to like remove the minimal from your box. You're not about to start scattering your box because you're not settling in here. So I didn't want to like scatter my box and the, the slippers I had out, I couldn't use it to shower. So I just used my barefoot and it was not that bad. I mean, the, 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 the bathroom was not the best, but yeah, it was not that bad. But yeah, guys, um, after taking my bath, I just went, like I said, I did not really scatter my box. So I just went to just put in the little things like my toothbrush, my soap that I removed and just closed my bag to start heading out. And yeah, you guys, please, whenever you're checking in your bag, make sure that you lock it. It is very important. See we don't trust anybody whether it's nigeria out of nigeria any country just make sure that your box is locked and try to make sure that if you're, you're using this kind of um lock codes make sure that you're not using like zero 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 the common ones just do a mix and match you get that will not just easily be easy to break into but make sure your box is locked in one way or the other but yeah guys i'm ready to head out <music> hi guys good morning <laughs> yes i'm excited this morning thankfully after everything that happened last night yeah i think i slept great i slept awesome not the best of course but at least i slept well usually i work out on mondays but i didn't work out today so it allowed me getting a lot more sleep than i would have and by the way they don't have a gym here but yeah guys um if my face is right by the way i have bathed myself with sunscreen because i know west african countries are usually hot as hot as nigeria so i'm trying to prevent sunburn but yeah guys um i'm heading to the airport and i'm thinking of ending this vlog here which i probably will i don't know if by now i must have disclosed the location i'm going to with my short form video i suspect that i would have but you guys should be honest be honest okay but yeah, uh, guess where we're going to? If you don't, or if you've not watched my short form already, guess. Don't be a liar. Guess, okay, in the comment section. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm happy. I'm ready for so much fun. I don't know if I mentioned, but I'm just wearing the same skirt I wore last night. I don't know if you guys can see it. I doubt you guys can see it, but the same jeans, um, skirt, what, what I wore to the airport yesterday. I just changed right up. And yeah, I'm heading out. And yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and you guys come back. This is going to be a full blown series. Like I said in the initial 
um, intro we are going to three countries so you guys should be excited as much as i am and yeah let's go on this journey together thank you guys so much and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up okay and i'll see you in my next one bye you guys i have boarded senegal here i come